less than a minute now until uh, Flight Engineer Joe Acaba will be uh, giving the command to release the HT or H2 transfer vehicle number three, or the Conatory three, as it's called. Conatory being a word for white stork that will send it on its journey uh, back to uh, the Earth's atmosphere, where it will be allowed to burn up and. Um, wrap up its uh, stay in space. It launched on July 20th from Tanegashima Space Center in Japan. Team here on the ground confirming that the uh, snares on the Canada Arm 2 are open, which uh, marks the HTV release. That took place as planned at 10.50 a.m. Central Time as uh, the space station was 253 miles above Canada. You can see here the arm backing away now. Station on two HTV retreat is commanded, and the PT timer has been started. Right now, we have a PT of 53, 54, 55, 56. Houston copies. Nice job. Flagineer Aki Hoshide there confirming what we could see here on the ground that. Uh, HTV-3 has officially been released from the Canada Arm-2, the safe station's robotic arm. Again, that took place on time at 10.50 a.m. Central Time, while the uh, space station was 253 miles above Canada. Now begins the task of uh, having the vehicle move away from the International Space Station, slowly at first, and then uh, gaining speed. The first uh, maneuver which is called an ISS uh, departure maneuver, will be taking place at 10.55, about three minutes from now. And that will be a thruster firing that will uh, begin moving HTV away from the space station at a rate of just under eight feet per minute. That'll be followed at 11.05, 10 minutes later, uh, by another ISS departure maneuver. And then at 11.17, the first of the descending maneuvers that will begin dropping uh, the altitude of the HTV-3's orbit will take place. And a second one of those scheduled for just after noon central time, 12.01 p.m. Station Houston for a status. We see an opening rate of 0 0.5 down here. We'd like to know what you see up there and also distance from the arm. Uh, 
Thanks, Katie. Uh, the range rate on the nav is about 0 0.011, and the distance from the arm is like maybe two meters. Copy. As you can see, the first of those uh, thruster firings to begin moving the HTV-3 away from the International Space Station has taken place. That again will begin moving it away at a rate of uh, just under 8 feet per minute. And then a second one will take place in another 10 minutes at 11.05 p.m. Central Time. That uh, Concur, we will see move it a bit more. faster at about uh, 39 feet per minute. Aki, any camera tracking you can do for us would be great. And Houston, HCV is inside on camera three. We copy, Aki. View here provided by the uh, International Space Station crew members. As uh, you heard Aki Hoshide mention, this is a view of the HTV-3 as it moves away from the International Space Station. Station Houston for HTV, we see a safe trajectory for the abort, and we'll let you know when it's outside the keep-out sphere. Copy that. Space Station is currently 256 miles above uh, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, uh, above um, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, just about to head out over Prince Edward Island and across the Atlantic Ocean. The, uh, the HDV-3, newly released from the Space Station's Canada Arm-2, is moving steadily away. It's performed its first uh, are firing to uh, begin moving it away from the space station, and a second one is about uh, seven minutes away now. That'll take place at 11.05, be followed by another at 11.17, and one final for the day at 11.47 a.m., or excuse me, 12.01 p.m. Central Time. By that time, it'll be about four miles away from the International Space Station, and that will... Uh, move it not only away from the space station, but also begin lowering its orbit and getting it in, into place for its deorbit burns. 
There are three of those, and they're all scheduled to take place uh, Thursday, tomorrow evening, starting at 5.48 p.m. Central Time. They'll wrap up at 11.50 p.m., which uh, should have the HTV3 experiencing the Earth's atmosphere by 12.24 a.m. Central Time on Friday. The control room has recovered IOC-1, and we now have good attitude control uh, using the VDE-1 Alpha as, uh, as we planned pre-flight. Copy that. The Japanese flight control team in uh, Scuba, Japan, confirming that uh, the HDV-3 is continuing to move safely away from the International Space Station, now about uh, 360 meters in front of the station. That's more than 1,000 feet away and uh, has now, in less than five minutes, its second um, space station uh, Space Station Departure Maneuver coming up. That'll be at 11.05 a.m. Central Time and uh, increase its uh, speed uh, to a, a, an additional 39.3 um, feet per minute.